In this video, we are going to reveal the truth about HVAC brands that you might not have known. And this video is actually in response to a comment from a subscriber. So if you have a question about your specific situation or an HVAC project that you're working on, make sure you post in the comment section below because we do read and respond to the comments. And we also use those comments, as you can see, to determine what we should make content and videos about. And also soon we will be launching a podcast type of show where you can actually call in and ask your questions live. So if you're interested in participating in that make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you can stay up to date when we start dropping those episodes and doing our live streams so the comment that I'm referencing for this video is as follows fly medic fire one says we are thinking of getting a dike and fit five ton with furnace but we were told that most of the equipment would be made by Goodman is that true we know Daikin purchased Goodman but we don't know if Goodman equipment is being sold as Daikin well fly medic fire great question and the short answer is that although Daikin bought Goodman most of the equipment Equipment is slightly different including the Daikin fit but this is a great question because it brings up the question that a lot of people have when it comes to buying HVAC and that is what is a good brand or what is the best brand to buy now although you don't explicitly state it in the comment it sounds like you're insinuating that if it is a Goodman product you're not interested or you might be concerned in it because perhaps you've heard negative things about Goodman in terms of their reputation so in this video we'll break it down for you and we'll spell out the truth about brand and and if you're tuning in for the first time and you aren't familiar with the Daikin Fit, we will link a few videos at the end to talk about the Daikin Fit as well as a video that breaks down the various efficiency ratings and what they mean. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already. And again, we'll make sure to link those videos at the end of this video for you. And the short answer, as I mentioned earlier, is that a lot of the components inside any furnace or AC is going to be very similar across their product lines. Now, this is true for all brands, not just Goodman and Daikin. For example, all carrier products are actually produced by a company called ICP, which is an acronym for International Comfort Products. This means that carrier furnaces will have models that are almost identical under different brand names specifically. Brands like Bryant, Payne, or third-party no-name brands like half of the no-name HVAC that you see on the internet for sale. Those are all private label ICP products. And the truth about Goodman is that it's actually no better or worse than any other brand. And this is not just my opinion. This is based on the fact that if you pull apart a Goodman standard 14 sear air conditioner, you will see that the compressor is a Copeland scroll compressor. The contactor is probably made by Eaton or General Electric or some other components manufacturer. The capacitor could be made by Titan or Subco or a handful of other capacitor manufacturers. And my point is that as much as I would love to tell you that Daikin or any other manufacturer is the best and that's why we sell them, the truth is they're only the best in certain areas and that's why we sell them. And I will elaborate on what I mean by that statement now. For example, Daikin has one of the best warranties in the industry at 12 years parts with a 12 year compressor guarantee on their Daikin fit. Goodman and most manufacturers are going to have a 10 year warranty depending on the product. Although some other competitors have recently stepped up their game and started offering a competing uh, 12 year warranties as well to compete in the same space with Daikin. And there are a few warranties that are lifetime on the compressor. For example, Goodman recently came out with a lifetime compressor warranty on certain products. However, that only applies to the original purchaser and it does not transfer with ownership of the property in the event that you sell your home. But that's still a pretty sweet warranty and in my opinion is very competitive. But to answer your question about the Daikin fit specifically, Goodman has come out with a side discharge air conditioner. And when I asked our rep about this, he explained that this is essentially the first generation Daikin Fit and it is not upgraded like the Daikin Fit Enhanced. So technically they are two different units, but they are probably made in the same factory. And I know when Daikin bought out Goodman several years back, they did it because they wanted to take over their distribution hub since Goodman had one of the largest, if not the largest distribution networks in North America. But I do happen to know there are a few minor differences between the two brands. And if you're enjoying this content so far, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It's a free way you can show your support if you're finding this content helpful and it is much appreciated. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have a question about your specific situation, don't forget to post a comment in the comment section below so we can make a video to answer that question for you. But if someone is telling you that a certain brand has a bad reputation and you should avoid them, I can explain why Goodman may have developed this in the past and why several brands that in my opinion are actually good brands and there's nothing wrong with them might still have a bad reputation and that's because of something called 
installation error. And if you ask any HVAC technician that knows what they're doing about brand, they will probably tell you the same thing or something along those lines. And they'll probably tell you that it comes down to who installs it more than what is installed. Because the truth is, if you take a great brand with a great reputation like Daikin or Carrier or Lennox or York and you oversize them and don't follow industry standard best practices and don't pull a vacuum and don't braze with nitrogen, et cetera, et cetera, then guess what? You're probably going to have problems because the moron that installed it put in the wrong size system and didn't know what they were doing. I mean, there's literally a thousand things that can go wrong. One of the reasons, in my opinion, that Goodman developed a bad reputation at some point is because you can buy Goodman on the internet and you don't have to be a licensed dealer to sell them. Now, this is kind of a recipe for disaster because if you have a friend who has a handyman that thinks they know what they're doing and they buy a furnace for your house without doing a load calculation and they just think, hey, bigger is better, this size should work, and then they throw in whatever random size furnace or air conditioner they think your house needs, then you will probably be in for a rude awakening when your system doesn't work or fails prematurely. And I've seen systems that are completely destroyed with seized compressors, for example, that were one or two tons too big for the ductwork and the house. And as a result, the system burns out prematurely. And when I see a system like this that's clearly oversized, I don't doubt that it was probably installed improperly. For example, if they didn't do a nitrogen purge or pull a decent vacuum with a micron gauge, which is done not just to check for leaks, but also to remove moisture from the system, then they are probably going to have other problems. And I'm not surprised if the system burns out prematurely or has other issues. So even the cheapest no-name brand can be reliable if it is installed and manufactured by a well-known company, for example, and that installer followed industry standard best practices during the installation process. And, and that's just the truth. It's not that there is one brand that is better than the other. The truth is that who installs it matters. And this is not just me trying to sell you on hiring us or any other company that follows industry standard best practices. This is just the truth. We made a similar video like this before talking about brands. And if you went through the comments before, you would see that a lot of contractors nodded their virtual heads in agreement and chimed in because they know that when it comes time to repair a system, most likely the motors and the pressure switches and the TXVs are all going to be interchangeable and they're manufactured or the parts themselves are manufactured by the same manufacturer. And then they're just assembled by Carrier or Lennox or Daikin or whoever. And any Daikin dealer can tell you that if you look at the cabinet of the Daikin furnace, like this one behind me, it's the exact same cabinet of a Goodman furnace. However, a lot of the components between the two are not even interchangeable on the two brands, particularly on the high end equipment. Now, this is hardly true on anything that is non-communicating. If you're not sure what a non-communicating system is, it's a basic system. Any non-communicating HVAC system that uses basic low voltage relays and motors, for example, will have some level of interchangeability with generic parts. And we run into this often when we are doing repairs on older systems. And we can see that like a wire has been spliced to accommodate for an aftermarket relay or ignition module, for example. But communicating systems like the Daikin Fit do not have generic equipments on certain parts because it's essentially a computer board that communicates and therefore has to be OEM or an OEM approved replacement in order for it to work properly. But a lot of the components, even on the communicating equipment, and this is things like pressure switches, for example, those are generic and interchangeable across multiple manufacturers. The key is that you want to make sure the company you are hiring to do the work and put the system in is going to do a good job installing the system and stands behind their work. You can ask anyone at my company anytime we are having a chronic issue with the system. The first thing that I look at is the installation and I check the basics like was it sized properly? Is the ductwork big enough? And did we put in the right type of communicating wire? Because as much as I hate to admit it, nine out of 10 times, if we're having an issue, it's installation error and it's not the fault of the manufacturer. There is the exception. Sometimes there's random issues and parts go bad, but nine times out of 10, we always focus on installation error for that reason. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service like Denver, Colorado or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. That's right. We come out for free for all first time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up to date list of the cities and states that we service. So you can stay up to date when we start servicing your Metro. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now about the Dyke and fit as well as efficiency ratings. So hopefully you found this content helpful and we will catch you on the next episode.